Now, staying with the United States, after decades of political animosity and fossil fuel industry confusion, the United States is finally on the verge of its first significant attempt to tackle the climate crisis. According to President Joe Biden, the climate bill, which is a part of his Inflation Reduction Act, will not only help rewire the American economy, but also act as an important step in averting disastrous global heating. After a year of negotiations, Biden has secured the 50th and final Senate Democratic vote for his signature climate and healthcare spending bill. Biden has described the bill as another critical step towards decreasing the cost of living for America's families. And also make unprecedented investments in clean energy innovation and deployment, the bill could put U.S. within striking distance of Biden's goal to halving emissions by 2030. The Inflation Reduction Act will mean we're making the largest investment ever in clean energy and American energy security, the largest in our history, and will be the largest investment in American manufacturing in American manufacturing as well. And uh, I think this presents an enormous opportunity for a healthier environment, a cleaner environment, a cheaper environment for people to have to get by on. And uh, at any rate, I, uh, I'm, I, I am really optimistic. Now, the climate provisions in the legislation totals $369 billion, to be exact. That's what Biden initially wanted. But the excruciating negotiation with West Virginia Senator ended up in a reduced compromise. Senator Manchin is a coal company owning swing vote for the bill. If Democrats are able to muster all 50 of their Senate voters for the bill, they will overcome uniform Republican resistance to acting on the climate emergency. Billions of dollars will go towards investments in renewable energy such as wind and solar. This will also bring rebates for people wishing to buy electric cars and will support for households to make them run on clean electricity and become more energy efficient.